Hi everyone, I'm here at Little Mad. It's a it's American cuisine with Korean fare and French techniques. It is my first time here, so if you've been here, please do comment and share your favorite dish, favorite drink, or um, anything that you like about this place. I will share with you our total experience at Little Mad from the customer service to the dishes that we're going to have to the drink that I'm going to have and to the as you can see this is an open kitchen uh, where you can see the kitchen staff enjoying um, what they're doing it's an open bar too and they're very friendly while waiting he recommended that I try the soul honey and he's preparing it um, right now and I asked him if I could watch so he said sure so let's let's try it let's try um what is this about yeah that's the one mm. cheers guys let me try again mm. so you know I could taste the pine flavor of damsel and it's exceptionally like refreshing and it has a finish with a hint of Sancho pepper spice with a very strong citrus flavor, but it's good. I'm enjoying this on the rocks. If you've been here at Little Mad, I'd appreciate it if you can share your favorite drink and comment below. I want to try it next time. And you know what? Everybody here is so attentive. Everyone is so welcoming. Excellent service in Little Mad. Started dinner yet? And I already know that it's going to be a wonderful big dinner with my friends. This is their menu and this is a complimentary starter, a scallion pancakes. They're actually cute and they're shaped like fish. Very soft to bite into and not flaky. Um, interesting take. And the scallion comes with flavored butter, um, which was a good addition to the dish. It's also more exciting for me when I don't know what the next dish will be. Um, the mystery is something that I look forward to and it makes me enjoy the meal more. I think food is a universal language. It keeps you together with your friends and I'm always looking for the tasty, delicious and of course the best places to eat. Now this is my favorite, the mandu, which is a tiger prawn with foie gras and lobster. Definitely it's going to be my favorite because I love foie gras and lobster. Crispy pig ear salad. Okay, this is some funky food. So you have to be up for an adventure. But even if you're not, you probably won't mind the shrimp paste in the dressing because it's really pretty subtle. So if you're Filipino, pig ears and shrimp paste, well, that would be it for you here. Pig ears are perfectly fried and they kept the pig ears from feeling greasy. This would make a great beer night snack. I'm enjoying this now. Let's go to the next dish. Now we have um, yellowtail. I think yellowtail was very good. They paired it with pear and scallion oil. Yellowtail was beautifully presented. You know, it's super fresh with delicate flavors. The pear is a brilliant ingredient that ties it all together. Oh, it's delicious. I really like everything we've ordered so far, but for me, the standout was really the um, tiger prawn. This yellow tail is incredibly fresh. And the sweetness of the pear complements the sauces and the fish so well. The 
food here is is very creative and inventive. It's like a modern take on traditional Korean Asian foods. It's delicious, and if you want to have that, you know, fine dining experience that's not intimidating, and you just want to have a good dining experience, this is this place is highly recommended. An open kitchen area you might want to get a table that that's near the open kitchen area because the kitchen staff you can see them having fun as they you know prepare the dishes all the dishes we've had so far they're all creative and there's always a, a very inventive spin on them this tiny little modern restaurant I think it's one of the more outstanding meals I've had in a long time. The dishes are fun and playful, and then they put a creative spin on Korean dishes. Pan Galbi, meat was juicy and cooked to perfection. We ate it with garlic, which was this cherry on top, and they cooked the garlic bit so that it's super soft and you can break it up and eat it with each bite of Galbi. Mm, mouth watering oh my now this is my favorite if you're gonna come to little mad you have to order this this is seasonal mushrooms bone marrow with in maple soy oh this is super super good the bone marrow melted into the rice and each bite popped with butter and umami what's that it's a eel I really enjoyed all the dishes that we had here. The ambiance is trendy and a little edgy. The dishes are a little bit pricey because every person has to order like two to three dishes to get full. But again, it's super fun. Overall, it's a really cool experience and I'm really glad I tried this out. Everything was delicious and beautifully executed. It was definitely a very pleasant experience and it's worth checking it out. I also think this is going to be one of my favorite spots to bring friends. This is a place where I will gladly come back and bring my husband and my friends another time because the dishes were well executed, very friendly staff, and I think it's a cool setting. And flavors are upscale, and I was really blown away by how friendly, attentive, and helpful everyone here was. It's the same caliber of service you'd expect from a fine dining restaurant. So my top three favorites are the um, tiger prawn foie gras, lobster, the prime galbi with confit garlic and brown butter. And you have to try this. It's rice, mushrooms, bone marrow, maple soy. Those three are my top three favorites. For dessert, we had Earl Grey shaved ice with strawberries. And I think the Earl Grey flavor went well with strawberries. And it was served to make the actual strawberries and grapefruit wedges really pop. We also had the cream puff matcha. I think the desserts were good, but not great. Remember that portions were, are small to medium, so you probably want to order one item out of each section. The menu is roughly like three sections per person. That plus drinks will be around $90 to $100 each before tax and tip. Thank you so much guys for watching. I do self-produce my videos, so if you like the video, please do like and subscribe. I get motivated more when I see that people like and subscribe to my videos. Again, I will see you in my next videos.
Thanks again. Bye.